Greetings, summer 2019 graduate homiletics students. I'm Dr. Alan Ehler, your professor and instructor and developer of your course. And uh, several of you sent me some emails and I thought it might be helpful to just clarify what exactly I'm looking for in your sermon preparation and delivery notes. There's four assignments there that are each different. And as you can tell from the other videos, sermon one is very different from sermon two. Sermon one has a wide range of types of sermons you can do and there Therefore, because of that, I'm not going to be as specific in what I'm looking for in your preparation notes. However, you do have an assignment to give me some preparation notes. And so what I would like to see is that you're actually thinking about what you're doing. You're putting it together. You're not just going online, finding some sermon and copying it and restating what Stephen Furtick or Joel Osteen said. But you came up with your own. You did the work to develop your idea. And as I mentioned, you can pull it from the Giving Blood book from Leonard Sweet. You can do a narrow fork sermon if you'd like. I also give you several examples, some instructions on how to do a topical sermon, a textual sermon. I'll even accept an allegorical sermon, a narrow fork sermon, a biographical sermon that built around a character, or uh, a, a, narr a narrative sermon where you portray a character. Any of those are acceptable. So whichever you do is going to have different things, and I'm not super specific about it. So you will see that there's a separate entry point there. What I'm looking for is something to show me that you studied. You did research, you studied the biblical texts you used, and you used whatever uh, background material is appropriate. You thought about your literature. And again, it doesn't have to be written out in full paper form. I would like to see any sources you're using cited. Uh, and at the very least should be the Bible. I would like to see more than that. In fact, if all I do is see, okay, I read these verses, you're not going to get full credit on it. So show me that some of the insights you got from your scriptures reading. Did you use some other books? Did you use some commentaries? Did you use some maybe current day sources to find out some background information on the problem you're going to address in your topical sermon? Uh, maybe you did listen to some other sermons. Cite those. Give me some of that information. Uh, again, it's not an overall quantity of stuff, but it should be at least uh, probably two pages, I would say, if you want to get full credit on the on the preparation notes. Now, the delivery notes, what I'm looking for is either the outline or the manuscript of what you're going to preach when you do your sermon video. Uh, you may find it easier to use a rough outline with your main points. Put that in there. Uh, some of you may want to have it written out word for word. Put that in there. And that counts for both Sermon 1 and Sermon 2. Now, where things get very different in Sermon 2 is I am going to be very specific about what I want you to do in your preparation. And that is to follow the other book, the Engaging Exposition book. It is laid out with very specific instructions about how to do exegesis, studying the biblical passage that you're going to be researching. And it's built around three different pieces that are that we're going to be doing right here and uh, you can take a look there's again more information available on the video but I want you to uh, do the three big steps that are laid out here in the book talks about number one inspecting the text look at everything in that chapter as you do your observation component then inquire about the text doing your studying your insight your interpretation and then going investigating the text and this one I am going to require you to get some current day recent single book commentaries that needs to be like a commentary on the book of Philippians if you're preaching Philippians or Colossians you're doing Colossians of at least a few hundred pages Ages. You need to get those. We have a lot of them available online through the Steelman Library service. So even if you can't make it to Lakeland, you can get those. You may be able to get them in the local library as well. But we're looking for meaty commentaries. Okay, Use those as your sources. Again, this is sermon number two. I do want you to give me a lot of information. I do want you to give me a bibliography. You need to cover each of the three steps. That is to inspect the text, inquire about the text, investigate the text, and then finally identify the main idea of the text. Then tell me what's going to be the main idea of your message. It may not make sense now, but you want to come back to this video before week six when it does. All right, what's the main idea that your text is communicating? It's going to be the heart and soul of your sermon. I've got an excellent example from a student who took this class last year, the best ever. Now, you may be overwhelmed. It doesn't have to be 25 pages or whatever she did in, in there. Uh, but again, you can take a look at that to see what is what is a perfect uh, preparation notes look like. That's it right there. So you can see kind of what, what I'm looking for. But again, it's got to cover all four of those components. 
and and that's just sermon two sermon one a lot more flexibility and it, and it really excites me so many of you are so caring about your degrees you want to know exactly what i'm looking for so hopefully you've got that with this video if not send me more emails and i'll send you another video or do something else but god bless you guys looking forward to watching you preach and hope you're enjoying the class